Okay. All right, guys. So excited that you're on the call tonight. I am Melissa Shaver, Emerald Ambassador with Plexus Worldwide. And I am so excited to have Brooke on the call tonight. So Brooke is a sweet, sweet friend of mine. We're kind of in a support group together, if you will. We are both under Rosalind Payne, and um, who is our diamond. She has uh, some others above her, some sapphires, Megan Griner, I think Aaron is above. And Brooke and I actually met um, at Kona, my first year as an Emerald. We officially met there. We kind of were introduced uh, as Jules in Roz's team, but we met there. And I will tell you, ever since we met, I have highly respected her. I follow her. Uh, she's brilliant in my mind. Uh, just incredibly smart, but really chill and cool. And um, so I'm excited for her to be on and to teach us. I know that I'm going to be taking some notes and I'm going to hand it over to her. I will say she lives in Kansas. That's one thing that I love about Plexus is that uh, I get some really sweet friends from all over the country. And Brooke, am I correct? Were you a nurse practitioner? Okay, nurse practitioner. Cool thing that I love. She ran track in college, so I just think she's like the coolest <laughs> ever with that. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to hand it over to you, and I'm going to mute myself and take some notes. Okay. Well, I don't know how I follow that, but thank you, um, Melissa, for having me on. And you're making me feel pretty good because right now I feel like a tired, stressed out mom. <laughs> That's what I feel like. I do not feel cool at all. Um, so in all transparency, I'm single mom in it. My husband um, is at a coach's clinic for KU. I don't know if you guys know KU Jayhawks. So it's a rough life that he's watching them practice today and tomorrow. So I have four kids in my house that I'm responsible for. So if I have to bolt out of here for a second, I apologize in advance. I'm praying that that won't happen. So um, anyway, like Melissa said, I'm um, a nurse practitioner. I live in the middle of Kansas and I am the mom of four boys. They're ages three, five, 10, and 12. Um, I love my crazy chaotic life. Like I function in chaos. If life gets like slows down, I don't know what to do with myself. So um, I'll tell you guys a little bit about myself. I, um, when Plexus found me, I was working in a clinic as a nurse practitioner here in Kansas. And it was not my dream job but it was a job that worked for my family. My dream job was actually in the emergency department, which is all that I had ever done. I'd either done critical care, um, I was a flight nurse for a while, and then I'd been in the ER, and that's my thing. So obviously adrenaline, action, excitement is my thing. Um, but I took a job in this clinic that I wasn't really sure that I wanted to do, but now I know why, because I wouldn't have had time to even look at Facebook in the ER to see the post that I saw that day. So I was working in, uh, in my clinic and doing what everybody does, um, to waste time in America or across the world, I guess. And I was flipping through Facebook and I saw a post that was kind of cheesy and not even well done. And it talked about anxiety and energy. And at the time, my baby was 11 months old, my littlest boy, and I was struggling to survive. <laughs> um, to put it lightly, I was trying to keep my head above water. So I was exhausted. I was anxious. Um, I'd found out that I had anxiety and I was wanting to do something about that. So I had been researching drugs to put myself on. And um, one of my friends who she mentioned, Erin, um, on Facebook had posted this, this post. So I called her and literally the words out of my mouth, I don't let my words, that my kids say these words. I said to her, Erin, what is this plexus crap? That's what I said to her. Not very nice. That's exactly what I asked her. I didn't even tell her hello when, um, when she answered the phone. And Aaron um, stammered over some answers and poor Aaron thought I was calling to talk her out of plexus. And then the next words came out of my mouth. I said, Aaron, will this help me? And she said at that moment, she stopped dead in her track. She said, Brooke, I would have never known that you struggled with anything. I would have never known that you were anxious. I would have never known that you didn't have energy. And that's one of my very first things that I wanna to talk to you guys about, prejudging. Never, ever, ever prejudge anyone, whether or not they could use plexus. Um, I got that advice early on. I can tell you that Erin would have never reached out to me. Maybe she would have um, eventually got the nerve to reach out to me, but she said she wouldn't have. Um, she didn't know I was struggling because I showed up. I smiled. I had a good attitude. I, I didn't really feel like there was any other way. I mean, that was the way that I was raised was get up, put your feet on the ground, get going, be happy with what you're blessed with and be positive about it. Like what other choice do you have? But I was struggling. I thought every mom... Um, that was playing with their kids 
was frankly annoying. Like I thought they, they genuinely enjoyed that. And I was struggling as a mom to be that kind of mom. Um, I love my kids, you guys. I, I feel like right now the inside matches the outside. But before Plexus, I felt like it was a facade. I tried to pretend that I liked those moments. I tried to pretend I wanted to go to the park. I tried to pretend that I had patience, but I didn't. When you were exhausted and anxious, you just don't feel good. And when you don't feel good, you can't be your best for other people. So never, ever, ever prejudge because you just do not know um, what someone else needs. So because I'm a big nerd and I'm a nurse practitioner, I did all my research. Um, I... I looked up everything and every reputable med website that I had. We're not talking Google. We're not talking WebMD, like all my legitimate resources. And I came up with the conclusion that there's nothing in this stuff. Like there's nothing, of course we all know that, but there's nothing in Plexus that is not going to, that's going to harm me. And so I was talking to my husband about it and um, I'm the cheapest person that I know. So I said, well, should I do this? I'm like, I've wasted money on, on greater things. So I love having conversations with people who say they cannot afford Plexus or, um, it, it's, they may not, you know, they just can't squeeze it in or there is, there's always something you guys, there's always something. I think I've run across one person. And I really don't believe she was being completely honest that told me that she couldn't afford, she didn't have a vice. She didn't drink pop. She didn't have, didn't do candy. She didn't take any medications. Everybody has something. And I'm not saying that for you guys to walk around and be like, I wonder what she's got. <laughs> I wonder what she's got. That's not the point of this. The point of this is Plexus has something to offer everybody. We have health and wellness. We know that every single person out there has a human body. They need health and wellness. Everyone out there has blood sugars. We all need blood sugar regulation. Everyone out there has an endocrine system that is full of hormones that are not balanced the way they should be. I promise you, um, because a lot of my stuff was hormone imbalance. And I didn't even understand that as a healthcare professional, everyone out there needs something. So, and everybody out there has something. And when we talk about like I have people who join me who say, I don't have a single friend. Well, you know what? We have community. We have community. We have friends. We have support. Um, we can change your financial future. We can help you erase a debt. We can help you have some margin to buy groceries or buy the good toilet paper. Like that's seriously what I do. And I still sit there and like, thank God that I'm not sitting there. Honestly, like I did this in college figuring out how many squares I was going to get for what price for what I'm not joking. I was that big of a nerd and I was that health conscious be, or I mean that financial conscious before Plexus. So we have finances, we have health, we have family and community um, that people need. So everybody's got something when they say, I can't afford it. There is some wiggle room there. Um, you talk to them about, about, you know, are you, are you drinking diet Coke? What medications are you taking? Like, what are you spending your time on? And at the very end of the day, can you put a price tag on feeling good? And when your kids say, mom, will you take me to the park? And you say, yes. And you mean it like you actually, actually mean it. That's my big thing. Like I tell people, I used to say yes. And I used to go. And then I was like, my inner, like, ugh, was always there and it is not there anymore. So, um, that's another big thing for me is if you can get someone face to face, they will never doubt your belief in Plexus and how much you believe that they can help you. If you can't get them face to face, get them on the phone, leave them a um, voice message on messenger, um, you know, FaceTime them, whatever you have to do. Two dimensional messages are great, but I am a blue, I'm a people person. I'm a talker. Um, I am not going to sit across from you and ever let you doubt how much I believe in Plexus and how much it can help you, period. Um, they need to see it. They need to feel it. They need to hear it. All those things. And I never even try to slim a stick. Like I sent, or stick of slim, sorry. I sent out, I send out samples like crazy, but I never even tried it before I bought it. Like I didn't care. I believed what my friend told me. She told me that Plexus would help me. And I trusted her to, to tell, you know, I mean, I could hear it in her voice and I knew she wouldn't sell me something that wasn't legitimate. So get yourself in front of these people. And if it's far away, like I said, on the phone, voice message, um, FaceTime, they can feel and hear your passion. It's palpable. They can, I mean, and they want what you have guys. So I am not about, um, false advertisement and, uh, you know, putting on a facade, but we are a walking billboard for our business. So today, I'm going to be totally transparent, was a really, really rough day for me. Not just, I don't know if it's the time change. I, uh, we had some highs and lows that I can share with you in a little bit at, at my house. And just one of those moments. And, you know, then you throw in the negativity of, I can't log in. There's this new back office. I can't log in every five seconds. So 
we all know the beauty of being in Plexus, right? It's a great day. This is our first step in a new direction. And I'm the last one that's going to complain about that. And it had nothing to do with Plexus, but things happen. Like we all get, we all have good days. We all have bad days, but we are a walking billboard for our business. So you can't go on Facebook and say, wah, 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 and complain about something, right? You can't go into Dylan's and not smile at everybody just because you're mad. So I don't think you should pretend to be somebody that you're not, but I do think you should be conscious of what you're putting out there for people to see. Um, I, before Plexus was a little bit, mm, I guess you could say I was probably pretty judgy. I'll go ahead and say that. I was probably pretty judgy. I was um, very conscious of who I added on my friends list on Facebook. Well, I don't know them or they do that or whatever. And I decided that what I'm sharing is bigger than all of those things of what those people may or may not be or what I think of them or what they said to me in the third grade because I want to help people. So I'm not going to keep that blessing from other people by not making them my friend. I'm not going to keep that blessing from other people by not smiling at them in the grocery store. I'm not going to keep my story to myself. I'm going to be real. And I, so that, that walking billboard is who you are on Facebook, who you are in person, um, what people see. So people need to see a, uh, not, I mean, you don't have to pretend to have good days. I post about bad days too. And I post how Plexus helps those be less often. Um, but I do think that we have to be aware of our presence um, in, in social media, in person, um, and know that people are watching us. Um, everyone is watching you. The people who hate you or don't want to join you, they're the ones that are paying the most attention, quite honestly. And half of the reason is maybe they want you to fail. That's okay, because eventually they're going to want to join my team, and they're going to make great ambassadors. My favorite, favorite, favorite people are the people who are former skeptics, okay? Because if you can get someone who was absolutely against Plexus in your corner, you will never, ever, ever have a more loyal individual on your team. I was the most skeptical person that I'd ever known pre-Plexus, and I'm not going anywhere. Like, Tarl and Alec are going to have to kick me out to the curb before I leave this business. I'm not going anywhere. Um, so um, I kind of wrote some notes. I'm a super blue personality, and I'll get sidetracked, um, and I wanted to be able to share stuff. Um, so um, Melissa asked me to share what are, what are the things that I've overcome or maybe some of my fears. So my biggest fear was I was born and raised literally at the small town hospital 11 miles from where I live right now. My husband went to high school here. I went to high school there. I've known most of the people I've known since preschool, church, nursery, kindergarten. Literally, I graduated with most people I went to kindergarten with. Um, when you have history with people like that, um, you care about what they think, right? They've known you a long time. My husband coaches. He's in the public eye. We seem to know everybody. I worked in a clinic in my hometown, or I mean, in my, in my town that I live in now, I worried about what people would think about me. So I say, don't prejudge others, but I worried about people would think about me. Um, I really got to the point at the very beginning of Plexus, I started products and I took them secretly for two months. I had amazing results. And on a Sunday night, it was nothing short of God that um, I felt like I had to share. I felt very convicted that I had a secret. I did have a secret. Nobody knew what I was doing and I felt great. How can you feel so good and not share it with someone? So I felt so overwhelmed, like every mom out there needs Plexus. Every dad out there needs Plexus. I need to share this gift with the world. So I had to get over myself. I had to get over that people are going to judge me, that they're gonna think that I'm a crazy Plexus lady. That, and at the time there wasn't a crazy Plexus lady around here. So I really felt like I was stepping out of my my comfort zone. I'm helping pave the way for all these other crazy plexus ladies to jump on board and I'm more than happy to run with them. I love it, love it, love it. So um, I had to get over myself. I had to put my pride aside and my ego aside. And what I decided was sharing this gift of health and wellness was way more important than what people thought about me. That is so hard, guys. So hard. And I can tell you from time to time that still bubbles up. And then I say, not today, Satan, not today. And I continue sharing. But he tries to ruin things that are amazing. He tries to get in the way of block blessings for us to bless other people. So don't let that happen. What we have is so much bigger. So get out of your own way. Get over yourself. Maybe you're somebody who's never posted before. I challenge you to post tonight. Like post and be real. Don't share something. Don't do a salesy graphic. Like be real. Be vulnerable. Be honest. My very first post mentioned the word anxiety. And I had never, ever told anyone outside of my husband and my mom that I had anxiety in my life. 
Um, if that's not God behind me as like my, I don't even know, I don't know what that was. And I woke up to a business that I did not plan on. I did not plan on sharing Plexus. I told my sponsor, I will never share it. I will never tell a soul. I will never do this. And she's like, okay. Um, now I know she was secretly hoping I would, right? Um, now I get it. <laughs> um, so I would say, get out of your own way. That's my biggest advice that I would tell myself is, um, you are good enough. It, if you think you're an embarrassment or you think it's embarrassing, you have to be sure about what Plexus has. Never doubt the quality of our products, the amazingness of this company. Um, even on this day, like I can tell you there are like people who are freaking out about back office or download this or do this. And I thought, no, we have an amazing company who does it right, who makes it right. They will make it work. I don't doubt that. I never for one minute have any doubts. I did not download a single report. I did not freak out about anything. It will work out. Plexus does it right and they make it right. They take care of us. So do not have doubt in this company. If you're doubting and you don't have belief, call me and I'll have enough belief for both of us because I do. So never doubt the goodness of what we have enough to not share that. So um, that's another thing. Um, when you think about reaching out to people, this is one of my favorite messages I've ever gotten in my life. Um, we think about how scared we are, right? Like it's so scary to reach out to people, especially those chicken listers or the people that we really, you know, are, why are we scared of them? Because they have labels, right? Mine might be a doctor. Well, I was Aaron's chicken lister because I'm a nurse practitioner, but let me tell you, under all that, I'm just a mom. I am a mom, a person. I'm a human who suffered with anxiety and energy and I was addicted to pop and sugar and I was dragging and I was grouchy and I had a short fuse. Take the name nurse practitioner off of it. Take the name doctor off of it. Take the name, you know, banker off of it. I don't care. They are people. They are just people who need help, guys. So take all of that out because a girl messaged me and I, I sent her a cold message and she sent me a message and said, oh my gosh, thank you so much for reaching out to me. I was so scared to reach out to you and I didn't know how I would do it. And I thought to myself, are you kidding me? Like you have no idea how scared I was to reach out to you. So you got to realize all we see is our point of view, right? We're, we can be very egocentric, like a toddler. We only see our point of view and we're always right. That's not the case. Get out of yourself, get out of your box and look at it from someone else's perspective. They may be terrified to reach out to you because look what they see. They see a, a confident person who is feeling good, who is sharing on Facebook, who is smiling, who is, you know, seeing these troubles that they had go away. Um, you are like this untouchable, like person they want to be, but they're scared to reach out to you. But we're not guys. Plexus people are honestly, um, some of the kindest, most compassionate, genuine, loving, real people I've ever met in my life. Um, that's another point. I can tell you, if you start to grow intentionally and you start to get out of your way and you start to help other people, it's going to get uncomfortable and you're going to lose some friends. And I hate to say that, but I have lost a lot of friends. And you know, I realized they weren't my friends. Um, they didn't want what was best for me. I have people who have never purchased a single Plexus product from me in over two years and they still support me and they're still my friends. I have people who, um, have not purchased anything from me and they're definitely not my friends. <laughs> they are, you know, rude to me. It's okay. I have figured out that um, I'm not here to make friends. I'm not here to please people. I'm here to spread health and wellness. And I feel like God gave me this platform. He blessed me with Plexus when I wasn't looking for it. And it is my job to give that to other people. So that is, that is my, um, that is my mission is I want to help every mama, every grandma, every kid, um, I don't, if you guys follow me at all, and if you don't, I'm totally not offended because I, I don't get offended easily. Um, I have a kiddo with major, major anxiety and, um, my kids see this better than anybody. So most of the lessons I've learned in Plexus, a lot of them come from them and my kiddo who with the most anxiety said, um, and I will probably cry cause it's what I do. Um, he said, mom, do you think that I was the way I was for so long because people needed to know about plexus like people needed to be okay and like talk about ugly tears so this kiddo um wouldn't pee in a public restroom stall alone if we were at mcdonald's he wouldn't go across the restaurant and get ketchup by himself he didn't want to go to school he wouldn't go to practice by himself um he wouldn't do anything like he would okay he would but he i mean it was everything was such a struggle and if he did do it we're talking tears stomach aches 
sad face. Like he was, um, he made my heart hurt. He's the reason I took the job that I took that wasn't my dream job. So I could answer the phone when Kaiser called because in the ER, I couldn't answer it. And I was crying and helpless from 30 minutes away. And I couldn't do anything about it. So I was stuck in the ER for 12 hours. I gave up my dream job for a job I didn't really want, but God opened the door and then in came Plexus. So he had a perfect plan. Um, so the people on my team now were not my Facebook friends. And these people are my son's teacher my son's counselor, my son's principal, who I was mad at because they told me my son had anxiety. Um, my son went to school a different child and they told me, I got a message from the principal that said, Brooke, what have you done with Kaiser? He's a different kid. And I know they thought I medicated him and I didn't, but they did not even see a single Plexus post. So think about that. Think about how that's a walking billboard for your business. Um, my son was just living life, just like we are, just living life. And they saw the difference in him enough to say, what have you done with your child? I can tell you that kid has led to more changed families than it blows me away, blows me away um, that he is the way he is. And that, okay, I'm going to cry. Okay, I'm going to move on from that because I'm a mom and it's been a day. Um, let's see. So the other thing that I would say when we're talking about no prejudging and we worry about what people think is that I got the advice very early on that somebody said, put your blinders on. Um, I love that. I love that because you can't worry about what's going on over here or what's going on over here. You can't worry about the person who you joined with or joined about the same time as you and they're recruiting faster than you. You can't worry about someone else's PV. You can't worry about someone else's weight loss. You can't worry about um, their results versus yours. I was a big hot mess. Uh, but I can't expect to be healthy overnight. Um, everyone is different. Everyone's body is different. Everyone's journey is different. So you have to put those blinders on and stop comparing. Now, do I get stuck in that spiral once in a while? Absolutely. I'm human. And I, sorry, my husband was calling. I just hung up on him. Um, and I smack myself and I get right back in gear. And it, you know what? That whole Okay. He's still calling. Sorry. Um, that whole comparison is the thief of joy. Do not compare yourself to other people's journeys, whether it's in business, whether it is in personal results, do not compare yourself. And that is very hard because we're all human, right? Um, Melissa asked me what Okay, guys, one second, guys. I love the reality of motherhood in Plexus Worldwide. Amen. Like that's just good stuff. She'll be back with us in just a sec. Isn't she like so real? Just good. Okay. Okay. So real life. My husband's calling me and I hung up on him and my kids are barging in here in their underwear. So <laughs> it's a real deal. So um, she said, what advice would I have for myself? Um, you know what I would have started sooner that I didn't really do is I would have prayed intentionally over my business, over my actions and over my team every single day. Um, I can tell you the days that go beautifully are the days that I wake up and say, okay, God, bring the people into my life that I can help. Give me the words, give me the boldness to approach them, help open their heart to receive the message that you want me to share. Um, those kinds of things like bless my teammates, like help them do the same thing. Like that is so powerful. So, so, so powerful. And I can tell you the times when I haven't enjoyed this business is when I've gotten caught up in pay points and numbers and rank advancement. That's not what it's about. Um, we get to bless others with health and wellness and we get to be financially blessed because of that. That blows me away. The paycheck is a side effect of, I would have done this to lose anxiety alone. And that's the thing, like, think about why you started this. I started Plexus because I wanted more energy and less anxiety. So a lot of people say, I failed, I'm failing, I'm not good at this. That's not true because all I wanted to do was have more anxiety or more, no, I wanted more energy and less anxiety. Um, I did that guys, so I succeeded. Every single day I'm a success story, every single day. So all the rest of it is just like icing on the cake. Like it doesn't matter. So at the end of the day, think about why you started this. That's all I wanted. All the rest of this is just an amazing blessing that God has brought to me. It's amazing. So pray, 
pray every single day. I mean, we should be praying anyway, but I mean, I'm saying pray intentionally over the people that God has given you an amazing platform. Not only is he giving you a platform, but he's giving you the ability to bless someone else. Like there's not one time in the clinic that I could have given you a blood pressure medication prescription that could have changed the financial future of your family. Not one time, like grasp that you guys grasp it. Like you have the ability to hand someone a ticket to change their future. Like not only feel better, like, whoa, I can't, that just blows me away. Blows me away. Um, the other thing, so I'm pretty bold and fierce and loud anyway, but this business makes you timid and scared. It's hard. Um, it's way easier to sell nail polish. It's way easier to sell leggings. It is way easier to sell shampoo. I promise you, because you're not personally connected to your hair. I mean, it's pretty important, but you're not personally connected to your leggings. Like when you start talking health and wellness, like that's really personal. So you message people and they message you back and then they go in the witness protection program and you don't hear from them for seven months. So it's okay. Just know that I call it your own plexus time. People will come to you in their own plexus time. They have to be ready. I can tell you, I'm having lunch with a girl tomorrow. Um, I was the president of my nursing class. She was a year ahead of me. I always looked up to her. I thought she had it all together. She's beautiful. She's, I wanted to be her. She messaged me yesterday and she said, and she's told me before she wants to do plexus. I'm over two years in. We've had messages back and forth. She blows me off. She has been in the witness protection program. She sends me messages three days ago and says, I'm raising the white flag. My marriage is in shambles. And this is her words. I'm a moody bitch. I yell at my kids. I'm fat. Even after weight loss surgery, I don't want to be this way anymore. Please help. Guys, people have stuff. She was who I wanted to be. I wanted to be her. I thought she had it all together. I thought she had it all together. We all have stuff. And she didn't want to admit that. So how hard was that? And I said, girl, first of all, thank you for messaging me. Second of all, I love you. Third of all, when can we have lunch? Like, I'm not going to, I'm going to sit with her face to face and we are going to hash out all this stuff because this is what this does. So I firmly believe that you can start a family on Plexus and save marriages because finances are hard. People argue with finances. Um, I can tell you my husband enjoys being married to me more now. I am not the crazy short fused wife. I'm not yelling at his kids. Um, I actually like have energy to clean the house. Like it's a little bit more fun to have a nice wife and a clean house. Like it just is. So I firmly believe you can change people's futures with this stuff. So don't doubt that. Um, so be bold guys, be fierce. It is scary, but I would have been, I would have told myself to be, to not really care. Like I said, I didn't care, but we all care because we want to be liked no matter what anyone says, everyone wants to be liked. And if they don't tell you that they need plexus cause they're lying. <laughs> they need plexus. Um, I know this is the other thing that I would say, and this is not because I haven't had support or haven't not had support. I've heard a lot of excuses up, down. I've said plenty of them myself. So I'm, this is not me saying I've got it all figured out because Lord knows I do not, but we all pay 34 95. We all have the same relationship with Tarl and Alec as the next person. We are all responsible for our own businesses. Um, no one owes you anything. Your upline doesn't owe you anything. Your downline doesn't owe you anything. Your sideline doesn't owe you anything. No one owes you a thing. And anything that you get from them to me is a blessing. So we are all, I mean, it's, we have amazing teams and we have amazing. I know you guys have Melissa as a leader. She's amazing. She loves on you guys. She loves fierce. I love her. She is as genuine as they come. So I know you have an amazing leader and that is a blessing to have someone help you do this. But if you don't, or you don't feel if that's there, it's okay. Do it yourself. Reach out, love on people, lead them, learn about stuff, share with them, um, lead team calls, host events. It's okay. Um, we all paid $35. We're all responsible for ourselves. And anything we get, just like outside of, you know, me fixing my anxiety and my energy, anything we get is icing on the cake, right? Like, wow, that's awesome. Thank you for doing that with me. So I didn't have to do that. We can collaborate and do that together. Um, let's see. Okay. So in the last 24 hours, I'll share a little bit of a story with you guys. Um, and I don't want to keep you forever and I'll let you guys ask questions. Um, so I just, I posted tonight and I didn't post all day. Like I usually post all day long and I was just in a funk. Um, we all have them. Plexus doesn't fix everything, right? Plexus is a tool. I don't know if it's time change. 
I can tell you we had the highest of highs last night. So my kiddo with anxiety is one that's very near to my, they all are, but I was him. I was him as a kid. So when I watch my kid, I see myself and I was a mess. So I watched my kiddo be a total stud this last week. Um, I'm not tooting his horn, but he's pretty good. And he's a really good teammate. And we played football and that kid won um, an MVP award on Thursday night for the game. And he won again last night, um, two nights in a row. And they won this tournament. They beat an undefeated team. They finished their season undefeated. And I watched this kid give away his MVP award from Thursday night to another kid on the team that he thought deserved it because he didn't want to take home two awards. To watch my son get out of his own way and get over his own anxiety and go out there and lead his team to wins blew this mama's heart away. Um, blew me away, guys. I was just, I mean, to lay in bed and thank God for all that he's given to us that my kid can do that and to be himself. Um, sorry, I'm being all ugly crying here. It was amazing. Now we stayed up way too late. Guess what? That same kid struggled at school today. That kid had anxiety. That kid who got pummeled to the ground over and over again on that field, who got back up and got in his teammates' faces, thank you, and encouraged them, was the kid who was in tears today in his fourth grade class because he wasn't sure who was going to pick him up after school. And let's see, he wasn't sure when he was supposed to have his B made next, year, next week for school. <laughs> his B. It doesn't matter. That is anxiety. So it made me think about Plexus, we have the highest of highs. Like I was celebrating that victory that he was over that anxiety yesterday. And I woke up this morning and that anxiety was right back in my face. And I can tell you, um, for a moment, I thought, oh my gosh, like I failed. We have not failed. These businesses, we have highs and we have lows. I can tell you the moment I signed the, an amazing ambassador, I'm doing stuff, someone else slams me on Facebook or someone else says this didn't work and they quit and they were my friend or someone else um, sends me something nasty, but we cannot let those affect us. We cannot let those win. We have a purpose and we have a, a mission. And I know that my mission is to get Plexus in the hands of every single person um, that I have yet to meet and people that I already know. I know that. Um, but this last 24 hours just made me like, I, it's, it's hard as a mom, obviously, to have these emotional highs and lows. It's also hard in this business. It's hard to be up and down. And this business is more like this than anything I've ever known in my entire life. And I would consider myself kind of tough, but even though I'm a big crybaby, and I can handle that stuff, but it is hard. Um, it, it is hard to lead sometimes. It is hard to be the positive person when people are negative, but you have to realize that this is so, so, so worth it. Every minute of it is worth it. I would never trade my time eight to five outside of my house again to do something besides Plexus. Um, I have a way bigger mission and a purpose um, than I ever did in my clinic. I can tell you that. What we do is worth it. Our products are worth it. Our compensation plan is worth it. Um, I know that God brought me Plexus when I didn't know that I needed it. I know that I had prayed for answers for my kids that hadn't come. And I would have never known it was in this stinking MLM that I called crap when I called my friend. Let me tell you, like, if that doesn't make you swallow some pride and get out of your own way and realize that God has plans way bigger than us, way, way, way bigger than us. Um, so I just, I, I just want you guys to know that it's normal to have the highs and the highs. It's normal to have the lows and the lows. Um, and it's okay. It is okay. You have to work on the days you don't want to work. Um, you have to post when you don't want to post. You have to smile at somebody, even though they probably talked bad about you on their Facebook feed. It doesn't matter because we know that we have something great to share. So um, I will uh, stop talking because I could talk forever and ever and ever. And my kids, my kiddo snuck in and gave me this bedtime prayer book that he wants me to read him when we're done. <laughs> so I think that was my hint. But if you guys have any questions, I'm not in any hurry because I don't hear anybody crying in the next room. Wow. Thank you so very much. I mean, I appreciate you being so real with us and honest and vulnerable. I think that we need to see that. Um, not just because you're a leader, but we definitely need to see it in our leaders, but we need to see that we're all people, right? And I just appreciate you being honest. Um, I do have two questions and then I, I want to open it up just for a few minutes because I don't want us to stay on too long. And, and Brooke, I just thank you for giving us so much of your time. But two different things. You, 
your personality, you're so incredibly bold and have conviction and really strong belief. It's amazing to hear, you know, that you were that child of anxiety and that you still learned as an adult to overcome it. And, um, Plexus has helped out greatly, but for someone that like, you're so bold, like how do you work with your, with your people and your leaders who do not have that strong of, boldness like you how do you help them overcome those pieces because you to me even though you say hey I judged people I was fearful of being judged your personality and character is you're going to just run over them from my perspective so like how did you overcome that truly to be able to move forward how did I overcome um just not worrying just about to be them? so bold yeah just to um, be so convicted I'm pretty stubborn and I was brand new and I um, had some people very early on. I can tell you, I grew up next door to um, some of my, I grew up there with my very best friends. There are two girls in my family and three in theirs. And um, within the very probably first month of Plexus of me sharing, and I started sharing from the first month, um, something happened. And you know, sometimes I can tell you my very first day on the job as a nurse, I made a med error. I gave the wrong medication. I went home and thought I was gonna, I killed that patient. And I look back and that was the biggest blessing God ever gave me. I was scared to death that I killed that patient. Um, didn't happen. He didn't die. It made me way better at my job. Way better. I know that that was God stopping me in the tracks or, you know, stopping me in my tracks, throwing me under the bus and teaching me a lesson before I did hurt somebody. Mm -hmm. um, on my very first day, I could have quit. That builds character. In my very first month of Plexus, my childhood really good friend said, about me and I quote on Facebook on social media that um, healthcare products are pimping these products to line their own pockets. I was mad. I was really, really, really mad. And I thought that is not the truth. And I will never let you say that about me. You can think that, but that is not true. And I will spend every single day proving you wrong. That is really hard to hear guys. It's really hard to hear. Um, uh, my sister didn't join my team for an entire year. I'm stubborn and I thought I will prove you wrong every single day. So I went on Etsy. I bought myself the biggest Plexus Slim sticker I could find. I bought myself Plexus shirts. I wore them everywhere. And I thought they are going to look at me and I'm going to hold my head high and I'm going to put my shoulders back and I'm going to act like I've got it all together. And you know what? There were times I went home and I cried. There were times when people are sneering at you and they're talking under their breath like, it's not nice, but I was not going to let them. I thought I'm going to do this and I'm going to win. Um, so a little bit was probably some stubborn pride. I parked my van in the very first spot where they could see it. Every time they drove in, I thought you're gonna have to drive by this every single time you drive into this parking lot and you pick up your child from practice. So probably a lot of it was, um, I just, I am bold, but I, we all get scared. I would say it was stubbornness. Um, I'm my mama's daughter. I've always been pretty stubborn. And I put myself out there and I knew the minute I posted, I was, I was all in, I was all in that this is what I was going to do. And I was going to help change lives. Mm -hmm. You can't dip your toe in that water and back, back out. People don't think you're serious. And I believed so much in these products and what they had done for me that I started, I knew that it was bigger than me. And I actually didn't, I had to not care what people thought because sharing the message and helping them feel better. Like I literally felt so much better in two months. I felt like a brand new person that I could not keep that to myself. I mean, that's literally what it is. I think it was, I think it was God giving me the boldness to be and the stubbornness and just giving me, making me who that I am. I mean, I don't know that I have a, a good answer for that, except for every single day I knew that my purpose was bigger than myself and that I had to share these products. I love that. A couple of people, Sharon Quinn is saying that she loves your heart and that you've just really inspired her Shelly Lackey says that you're amazing. And Tina says, bless your heart. And she's so thankful that you're in her life. So I wanted you to hear those. Um, do we have just one or two questions? Uh, I want you guys to, if you'll unmute yourself, ask a quick question before we get going. I'm an open book, so you can ask anything. Brooke, I got a question. Um, for your anxiety, what do you think was 
did I miss you saying, was it the triplex? What did it, is it that you feel like did the best, most effective for you guys? Okay, I have a visitor. Um, I started on the triplex and I felt amazing. Um, and I started with two pro bio at bedtime and then I quickly went to three and then four and I stayed at four for a really long time. And you know, I'm the cheapest person I know. So <laughs> to spend more than that, like 109.95, which is what it was. So by extra pro bio, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. But I trusted Aaron. You have to have that trust in that relationship. So I went up to four and things changed. And I seriously felt like my anxiety was um, controlled, like really, really well controlled. And then I can say when I started Vital Biome, I feel like it's non-existent. Like I can almost giggle and laugh in moments when I used to freak out. And it almost makes me giggle that I'm not freaking out. Like I sit there and I almost feel like, I can't explain this. I feel like I'm standing to her side watching myself thinking, who is this person? Like that is not how she would have used to have reacted. I mean, I go so up tight every family trip dinners like we have four boys like, it is nothing short of a tornado and a hurricane here every single day and I was a monster I was an absolute monster and it, and it, is cool. it is cool to admit that but I can spend time either being sad for who I used to be or being thankful for who I am now so um four pro bio mm. changed my life bio cleanse um I started the whole triplex we quickly a couple months in my husband who's cheaper than me said we really should be the healthiest we want to be, or, you know, we should be. So we're going to do X factor and mega X. So we started those. Then we added vital biome. Um, and then I actually added these, um, later too. So I do all of those on a daily basis. Um, and, and I love it. And then I'll never give up any of them. Like I said, Tarl and Alec are going to have to kick me out and I'll be like stalking them for the shelves if they ever do something different. No, I'm <laughs> That's funny. One more question. And I can Oh, sorry. I was going to say ProBio 5 is what changed my son's life too. Um, they're on a lot more now. And I can tell you after that anxiety deal today, he came home and took two ProBio and two BioCleanse, went to the bathroom twice. We all know how important that is, right? Elimination twice this evening. And he took two and two again at bedtime. So when someone tells you that something is too much for kids, message me. If you're not, if you don't need it, it's going to go out the other end anyway. It's just a waste of money. But he, my son, who's 10 years old, who weighs probably 80 pounds, took four ProBio today. So don't, tell some, don't let someone tell you you can't do that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I have a question mm -hmm. for Brooke. Um, um, you're a busy mom. So my question is for, you know, how do you organize your time during the day to work your business? Like, wh what is your biggest tip as far as fitting it in to your busy schedule? you know, kids and activities and everything. It's a funny question you're asking that right now. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's great. <laughs> so, so generally this doesn't happen. Usually my husband's home and so I have some break. But um, I am, I, I'm going to not say I'm not organized because I'm not supposed to say that, right? We're doing, I'm supposed to say positive things about myself. Um, organization has not always been my strong suit. I'm working hard at that. Um, I was a very big, I'm still a nooks and crannies person. I have to be very intentional with the minutes I put into it. Now, when I started, there was a lot of like going to bed at two in the morning because I was at messaging people. I'm getting in face. Sorry. Hey, hey, that's really loud for you. Go see what your show's on and then come back. I'm getting put in Facebook jail because you send out 60 messages, you know, to one person. Um, those kinds of things. So I, I did fit it in the nooks and crannies of my day. Um, I, you know, I spend time in my car for 10 minutes when I get home before I walk in the house because I don't want my kids to think I have my phone to my ear all day, every day. Um, but they do understand, like we've had those shareholder meetings. Hang on a second. But that's loud. Go in the other room. He's actually got on some Hawaiian necklaces, which is exciting, but not right now in the back of the room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, they're goober. Um, so literally the nooks and crannies of my day. So I'm going to wake up, respond to messages, post on Facebook, um, you know, and, and it's, it's five and 10 minutes, five and 10 minutes here. And it never looks the same today. I kind of felt like everything stunk. I still reached out. I still followed up. I still posted on Facebook, but I felt like I was a failure. And you know what? I had somebody message me tonight who's been on my list for two years and said, I want to start slim. How do I get to your website? And then I it was like one of those things. I'm like, okay, God, like, here's one of those highs and lows. Like I'm feeling like I stink at all of this. And then you send me someone else, you know, who's ready to do this finally. So, um, it's, it really is just in five and 10 minute increments. If that, I mean, I'll walk myself in the bathroom. 
which I don't need to be in the bathroom anymore for 20 minutes because it doesn't take me long to go to the bathroom. But the kids don't need to know that, so I lock the door and I can get 20 minutes worth of work done. So if I send you a voice message, it may or may not be from the toilet, and don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Well, thank you so much. I am going to just read some of these chats to you, and then I'm going to let you go read to your babies. But uh, we so appreciate you, Brooke. Thank you so much for giving us your time. Stephanie just says that she can relate to you, that she has had haters herself that have hurt her with their words. And so I think that you've really encouraged her by sharing the way that you have. And I think that everyone, Stephanie said this, but so many people I know are going to relate that it's just so encouraging to hear you as an emerald say that you still do this in the nooks and crannies. So that's wonderful to get to hear that. And I'm so thankful you said it. And then Carol just says, thank you so much for sharing your honest thoughts and insecurities with us. So we love you. We thank you. And um, I just appreciate your time tonight. It's really been impactful to my team. Oh, well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Y'all have a great night. Thank you. Bye.